Protecting players from head injuries is one of the biggest issues affecting modern sport. Rugby Union in particular has made player safety a priority with head injury assessments now routine in the elite game. Well, Newcastle Falcons are using virtual reality to protect their players from the effects of concussion. It comes as almost 200 former players diagnosed with brain injuries are suing the rugby authorities, including World Rugby and the Rugby Football Union. Adam Powell reports. Okay, two, one, go. This is no video game. This is virtual reality technology being used to help protect rugby players. So slow to start with and then faster. Its aim is to work out when someone's recovered from concussion. It's a bit of a weird sensation, like temporarily sort of blackout, I suppose. Um, and then sort of the, the symptoms after that differentiate. Some people get headaches and, and whatnot after um, and struggle with light and stuff, but you can be absolutely fine after it as well. So, as you know, there's a lot of different variations to it. It works by monitoring a player's eye movements. The Falcon squad were measured at the start of the season. Those baseline measurements are then used to decide if a player is fit to return. We've had one player so far uh, who we've baselined who's then gone on to be removed from play uh, due to a head injury. Um, we've been able to follow that player through his recovery and we've been able to use the, the VR concussion test uh, and he was able to step back on the field of play and, and train and play normally. Rugby has changed dramatically in the 20 years since England lifted the Webb Ellis Cup. World Rugby introduced head injury assessments a little over 10 years ago. Too late for England's World Cup winning hooker Steve Thompson, who at 45 is living with early onset dementia. He blames multiple head contacts as a player. A target will float around the screen. Follow the dot using your head and eyes. Keep the dot in the centre of your screen. The change in the laws recently is making rugby safer as time goes on. Um, however, I, I don't think we'll ever be able to fully eradicate the potential for concussion. Given the, the nature of rugby players, they never want to come off the field, they always want to stay on um, and pretending that they're fine and, and whatnot. Um, so I think it's important we've got a different variation of, of tests being as objective as possible. OK, ready to go for this one? Yep. This virtual reality trial is just the latest technology being used by Newcastle Falcons to keep players fit and healthy. Adam Powell, BBC Look North. Kingston Park. Done. Well done. Mm, huge issue for rugby, yeah, isn't massive. it? Yeah, massive. And football as well, yeah. of course. Uh, talking of football, what odd 